and welcome back to my channel and the first video of 2017. I hope you all had a happy Christmas and a merry new year. Wait. And today I'm going to show you all of my top beauty product throughout 2016, including makeup and skincare. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because I have quite a lot of products to show you. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. So I'm going to start with makeup items and the first thing is a primer and it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer. I have tried a couple of different primers from Smashbox but I find that this is the best one for my oily combination skin and I also really like the texture of this primer. I am really not a fan of silky primers like the Smashbox original one. I much prefer this one because it's more like a creamy soft primer. Next up is foundation or BB cream and I've actually basically only used this product for the whole year and it is this Garnier BB cream for combination to oily skin miracle skin perfecter in the color light. I cannot live without this product. I absolutely love this BB cream. It has quite good coverage for being a BB cream and it's very buildable which I really like about it but if you just use a tiny amount you can also get like a really natural just hint of color. It works really well with my skin. It doesn't make me really oily and it doesn't just slide off the face. I just really like this one. The only thing that is a little bit annoying with this BB cream is that it only comes in two colors, light and medium. I am normally light, like throughout the whole year. Maybe in like the summer months I can use medium uh, when I'm a bit more tan. I just so wish they came up with more colors. Next category is concealers and I actually don't have a favorite concealer that I can show you in this video. Most of the times I've just used a little bit more of the BB cream and just patted that like underneath my eyes and on the areas that I feel like I need a little bit extra coverage. But I'm really on the hunt for a good concealer. I want something that I can use to like cover blemishes but mostly to kind of cancel out the darkness underneath my eyes. Right now I just feel like I'm so tired and my bags underneath my eyes are quite bad right now. If you have any good concealer recommendations then please leave them in the comments because I would love to get some help. I need help. <laughs> Next up is powders and I've been all into kind of translucent powders this last year. So powders that kind of just mattifies and sets the makeup but doesn't really give you any color. My favorite out of all of them has been the Makeup Forever HD powder. Uh, this is completely empty. This is totally gone which I'm really sad about. I love this powder so much so this definitely takes the price. It is quite expensive but it's a miracle product in my opinion so it's worth the money. This one is the NYX HD finishing powder and this is in the color banana so this has a slightly like yellowy tint to it. Uh, this is also completely gone as you can see but I have been loving this powder too so I feel like this is a very good dupe for the Makeup Forever one. It is a lot cheaper than the Makeup Forever one and it does basically the same thing. I think this is no surprise for a lot of you that have followed me for a while. It is my Clinique True Bronzed Pressed Bronzer in the color 02 Sun Kissed. This is my favorite bronzer ever and it has been for so many years. I think I discovered this when I was about 15. I borrowed it from one of my classmates of the gym class and I just ended up loving it so I went out and bought my own and it's just stuck with me ever since uh, because I just love this bronzer. It's quite a warm tone like a little bit of an orangey bronzer and I know that a lot of people don't like that but I really love it and I feel like it really suits my skin. Um, and it also has some gold glitter to it, so if you're not into glittery bronzer, you're probably not gonna like this one, but I love it, especially for summertime, because then it just looks really like sun-kissed and glowy and healthy, so I absolutely love this bronzer, it is by far my favorite one. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how much I love this brush! <laughs> this is the NYX Baked Blush in the color Spanish Rose. It broke, so I'm really scared that it's going to fall out. It's in like two pieces now. <laughs> but it still works and I just love it so much. So this is a baked blush 
illuminator and bronzer all in one it says I don't agree with the bronzer part I mean this is for sure a blush and highlighter all in one because it gives such a nice glow and sheen to your cheeks so I normally don't use highlighters anymore because since I found this one it just gives me the blush color and the highlighter all in one it is quite affordable they have so many different colors I have quite a few other colors actually but this one the Spanish rose one is definitely my favorite it's a very pretty light pink color and it has a really nice sheen to it like a I don't even know how to describe it like a almost blue like iridescent sheen to it like a white pearly sheen it just looks so nice it's perfect for summertime because you just look really healthy and glowy but also perfect for winter time you just get those rosy cheeks you can use them dry which is what I normally do but you can also use them wet to kind of intensify the color and the sheen I need to pick up a new one and now on to highlighter but as I said I haven't really used highlighters that much because since I found the NYX blush I just haven't been in need of one but there is one product that is kind of a three-in-one product and it is this L'Oreal Glam Bronze La Terra Healthy Glow um, like trio so it has a bronzer a blush and highlighters in here and I have really enjoyed using this product. I use it a lot in the summertime. It just gives you a really nice, naturally like sun-kissed glow. It looks so natural and so glowy and pretty. Um, really like a perfect summer product. I've hit pen quite hard on this too. This is in the color Light Laguna 01. I also think that they had a darker one, 02 something something. <laughs> I haven't really used it that much now because I feel like the bronzer is a bit too dark for me right now, but I'm definitely going to use this again in the summertime. On to brows, I've basically only been using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color Dark Brown on my eyes, <laughs> eyes? On my eyebrows this year. And I used this angled brush from Sigma to apply it with. I only use the lightest shade in this powder because the dark one is too dark for me. So that's a bit of a shame because... I'm probably never going to use that. Maybe I can use it as like a um, eyeshadow or eyeliner or something. Or I've been using this Brow Wiz in Soft Brown from Anastasia. I really like this too, but I feel like you have to be very light-handed with this pencil uh, because otherwise you can draw them in too much and it just looks very drawn on and weird, which I definitely have done a couple of times but it's just really nice to have an option of a brow pencil on to eyebrow gels there were two different eyebrow gels that i really loved in 2016 one from maybelline called maybelline uh, brow drama and i think i had the color medium then i ran out of it and i don't have it to show you unfortunately and i picked up a new one which is this one from l'oreal the brow artist sculpt in the color blonde and i really like this one too color and the brush like it holds everything in place but if i had to choose between the maybelline one and this one i would choose the maybelline one this l'oreal one has a really like weird brush because it has a little bit of a like a pointy tip here so you're able to like draw in your eyebrows so I really like it anyway but I prefer the Maybelline brow drama one best eyeshadow primer this year has been the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion anti-aging one I just really like this primer but to be fair I just haven't really tried that many eyeshadow primers I think this is the only one that I've ever tried actually um, so I don't really have anything to compare it with, but I do have to say that when I use this, my eyeshadow stays on for so much longer. Whereas if I don't use it, my eyeshadow tends to kind of wash away, not look as pigmented and just not last for that long. So I really think this works and the anti-aging effect, I don't, don't really know if that works. I just picked this up because the original one was out of stock. But I mean, I'm turning 27 soon, so I probably need to start thinking about the anti-aging thing. I have a palette to show you. It is this Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. 
by looking at this you can probably see what my favorite color has been it has been this one which was like a beigey very glittery color i have it on my eyes today but i don't know if you can see this far away but it just sparkles so much and it's so pretty when the light kind of catches the sparkle and i've used it a lot throughout the christmas time and in the summertime as well this row here on the bottom is matte colors and this row on top is like shimmery glittery ones so i just feel like i can create so many different looks with this and it's perfect for traveling Then I have one pot eyeshadow to show but it's not actually like an eyeshadow I guess because I don't really use it as an eyeshadow I use it as a highlighter and it is this L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow in the color hourglass beige this has completely broke so it's just like a crushed powder in here uh, but it doesn't really matter I just pick up some like dust from the lid and apply it with like a pointed little eyeshadow brush to the inner corners of my eyes and on my cupid's bow and uh, sometimes underneath my brow bone and I just really love this for highlighting those areas with because it's a really nice like combination between a white and a beige color so it's that perfect mid color so I really like this one for that this eyeliner has changed my life. <laughs> I love it so much and it is the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. It's a felt tip eyeliner, very pointy, very easy to work with. I have talked about this so much, so there's no surprise it got to be in this video. And I don't think it's a surprise for a lot of you either. I've never been good at winged eyeliner, but this just changed my life because now I'm finally able to wear winged eyeliners because I can finally do it! This is the best and easiest uh, pen that I've ever tried. So if I can do it, then you can do it with this pencil. It's very black, it stays on all day, it doesn't smudge on me, and it's very easy to remove at night with just your normal cleanser. So this is just a jackpot in my book. I would love to pick up a brown one, like a dark brown one, if they have that. Do they? My next eyeliner is for the waterline, and I just have been absolutely loving putting white eyeliner on my waterline this past year or the last couple of years actually and this is just the white eyeliner pencil from H&M it's super duper affordable just makes your eyes look bigger and more awake and I just love that look it looks very like clean and fresh my L'Oreal Double Extension Beauty Tubes Mascara. If you have followed me for a while, this is no surprise. I have used this in so many of my makeup videos and this is what I use on a regular basis like my everyday mascara and it has been for so many years. It is two-step mascara so you put on a white layer first and then the black layer. It gives you a lot of volume and your lashes just look very voluminous and dramatic which I really love that look. Um, and this is very easy to remove at night because all you need to do is pat some warm water on your eyes for like 30 seconds and then you can just kind of wipe this off. And this is the Maybelline Last Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. I fell in love with this. I am very fussy when it comes to mascaras. I want them to give me black, voluminous lashes, very long lashes, and I want them to be easy to remove at night. I hate when mascaras like leave black and grey residues around your eyes and you have to scrub a lot to get them off and you just end up looking like a panda although pandas are really cute I don't know if I necessarily want to go for that look myself um, so I really like this mascara because this is a jackpot it does everything that I wanted to and it's a one step mascara so I don't have to bother about the two step process it has a slightly curved brush, which I think really helps to get into the root of the lashes. I'm really happy that I took this big step and tried a new mascara. Ta-da! The NYX Butter Lipsticks. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Was anyone surprised? I feel like a lot of you had this coming. Ta-da! <laughs> I have done a whole video talking about these and expressing my love for these lipsticks. So if you would like to see my NYX Butter Lipsticks collection, I'm going to link it down below in the description box for you. Um, but yeah, absolutely love them. Very creamy, very um, pretty colors, pigmented, feels really nice on the lips, very hydrating, moisturizing. I think I've shown a new color in every single favorites video that I had in 2016 because I just picked up new colors all the time and I ended up loving every single one and I've said this is love this is love right here <laughs> for matte lip products 
I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. These are the winners for me in this category for sure. I have tried quite a lot of matte lip products. I have a really hard time with finding matte lip products that I like because they tend to feel really drying on the lips, which is just a feeling that I hate. The soft matte lip creams, they don't bother me at all. I always use my lip balm underneath, but I just find that these don't feel that drying. These stay on for a really long time. They're really easy to work with and re really easy to apply. They dry matte. It just looks really nice. They're kind of a moussey texture. They have so many beautiful colors. They are really pigmented and I just love them. I'm thinking about doing a collection video on these because now I actually have quite a few. So if that is something that you would like me to do, then please give this video a like or tell me in the comments because I could definitely do that for you. I haven't actually used lip gloss that much in 2016. It was more about the NYX Butter lipsticks and the matte lips for me. But when I wanted a glossy lip, I most often use my NYX... NYX? <laughs> my NYX Mega Shine lip glosses. This color is called Baby Rose and it's almost like a clear gloss with some shimmer in it. It has a slight beigey nude like pinky tint to it. For setting spray, it's definitely been my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. Oil Control. It's a really hard word for me to say. Oil Control. <laughs> it makes my makeup stay in place and looking great for a lot longer, so I'm really impressed with this one. I really love it. And now let's move on to skincare. The first thing is a cleanser, and I have this one from La Roche-Posay Effeclar Purifying Foaming Gel for Oily Sensitive Skin. This has been my favorite cleanser for years now. I just love this cleanser so much, it works so great with my skin. Ever since I started using this, I feel like my skin has really cleared up, and it just keeps me a lot less oily throughout the day as well. It's a gel that foams up on your skin when you apply water to it. It is a little bit more expensive, but you get 200 milliliters in this one and it just lasts for such a long time. I'm so impressed with like how long I can keep this for. Um, so I don't really have to buy a new one all the time, so for me it's worth it. And it just gives amazing results to my skin, so I cannot give up this. I cannot give this up. It is got to stay with me forever. <laughs> I have been loving this Origins Gin Sing Face Scrub and this is quite a new discovery for me. For the longest time I just felt like scrubs tended to irritate my skin more than help it. I've been loving using this because it doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't make me break out, it just feels like it really cleanses my skin nicely and just gets rid of dead skin cells and everything like that so it just makes my skin feel really smooth and this smells amazing this smells just like origins origins <laughs> this smells just like oranges it's really refreshing and just makes it so much fun to use it has very fine and small beads in it, which I absolutely love because it doesn't feel harsh on the skin. Some scrubs can be really like hard and big chunky beads in it, so it just feels like you're scratching your skin. But this one, I really really love. It just feels really nice, like a nice massage when you apply this onto your face. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is for sensitive and normal skin. I love this so much. I can't live without this. This is so affordable. This makes it so easy to remove your makeup. I just take some on a cotton pad and I just wipe away all my makeup with this. Most of my eye makeup too. It can leave a little bit of like mascara residue. It just feels really nice and fresh to use and it doesn't really have a smell, which I like. I'm really impressed with this one. Favorite cleansing water ever. My favorite like cleansing device for my face is my Foreo Luna Mini. So you press this button here and it starts vibrating. You have two different settings. You have some bristles here that are more um, like smaller and then you have bristles here that are bigger. And you just massage your cleanser all over your skin with this and it just helps clear up the skin so much. This is also good because it doesn't leave any bacteria on the surface like some of the like brush devices can do. My skin feels so much more clear and soft and just feels like it really deep cleanses my skin so really love this device oh my god how much i love this moisturizer i cannot tell you how much i love this moisturizer but i will try and it is this clinique moisture surge extended thirst relief moisturizer 
I am so glad that I found this little moisturizer uh, because it has changed my skin. I love this so 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 much. It is a gel cream consistency and it just sinks into the skin really quickly. It doesn't leave any oily like residue on your face. It just makes my skin feel so much more moisturized and hydrated and soft and it doesn't make me oily. My makeup also goes really nicely over this. I use this as my day and night cream because I love it so much and it also says that you can use it as a moisturizing mask. The only thing that I think is a slight issue with this moisturizer is that it runs out quite quickly, at least for me, but maybe that's because I use it two times a day. It's quite expensive so that's the only thing that I feel is a little bit annoying. However, they did just reduce the price on this in Sweden and I think it was a permanent change so that makes me so much more happy because I know that I'm, I cannot stop buying this one I need this in my life I have three face masks to show you and they're all from Origins actually the first one is for clearing up the skin when you have like breakouts or just feel like your skin uh, isn't looking at its best I use this charcoal one um, from Origins then. The only thing is that when it dries on your skin it feels so drying and weird uh, like stiff and just not very pleasant but I guess that's because it's supposed to like drag all the dirt out of your pores and out of your face so it does what it's supposed to do but it feels a bit like weird. It's for a good cause so you know. Then I have one for when I just feel like my skin is dry and I need some extra moisture and it is this Origins Out of Trouble 10 minute mask Nay, no, this was the wrong one. I was not meant to bring out this one. It has the exact same packaging. Um, wait, uh, me, me. <laughs> this one was the one that I was supposed to be uh, showing you. This is the Drink Up 10 Minute Mask to Quench Skin's Thirst. So this is really nice for when you have dry skin and you just need some extra moisture put into it. I always wash this off afterwards, but you don't have to do that. You can leave it on, but it does give a residue, like a little bit of an oily residue on your face. And I hate that feeling, so I always want to just wash that feeling off. But it makes my skin feel really moisturized after using this. And then I have a third one, like a bonus one, and it is this Origins Jin Sing Face Mask. Refreshing face mask to wake up tired skin. And this is like a gel, like a clear gel, and it just feels like it makes my skin feel... I don't really know how to describe it, but my skin just feels fresher, and it just looks fresher and more glowy and just better, so I really like this one too. Favorite face mist is from Makeup Store, which is a Swedish brand, and it's just called the Makeup Store Face Mist. It smells so nice of watermelon. It's very fine and cooling and it just feels so refreshing to spray this all over your face. I use this uh, on days when I don't wear makeup to just kind of refresh my skin sometimes and also over my makeup and to kind of make my powders melt into the skin so they don't look so powdery. It works like a drink of water for thirsty skin and I really agree with that. It gives a lot of moisture and it just feels so nice. So that was all of my top beauty items from 2016. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did then please give it a thumbs up. And now I'm just so excited for 2017. 2016 like the last months of the year was a bit busy and hard and I know I missed a couple of videos uh, and I'm sorry about that but 2017 is here now and I just feel so ready and so happy about this year. I know it's gonna be a good one, it has to be a good one so I'm really excited and I have a lot of ideas of videos to film and I would love to get some video ideas from you if you have any. If you're not subscribed then please click that uh, button down below or at the end card of this video because I would love for you to come back and watch more of my videos. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye!